Hi, this is Annie from the ADHD Minimalist. And if you haven't seen me before, you can also check out my blog, theadhdminimalist.com. And there you'll find tips on minimalism, minimalism for kids, decluttering, and making family life easier if you have ADHD in your family. So you're welcome to go check that out. Today, I wanted to do a review of this bag. It's called Pack Safe. And I bought this because it's slash proof and it's pretty much, you can lock all of the pockets and you don't have to worry about people taking stuff out of your bag. Um, the idea was that my husband and I were going to go to Croatia or, and I didn't know if, if it was necessary really or not, but it just felt like, I mean, I might as well be safe if I can. This bag cost me about a hundred dollars and I think it might've been a little bit on sale. So you're probably looking at a little bit more than hundred dollars. They do have some pack safe bags that are a little bit cheaper. This is the one that turns into a purse. And honestly, it took me a little while to figure out all of their features. They have all these blocking features and then I locked all the pockets on the bag and then I left it for a week and then I couldn't figure out how to get in it right away. So, um, anyway, you kind of have to play with it for a little while to figure out what you're doing. And I did not feel like they had very good instructions. So the papers that I got with the bag, I was looking at them and trying to figure stuff out. And honestly, they weren't helpful. So I had to just sort of play with the bag and figure it out myself. So pack safe. If you're listening, you need better instructions with your bags. Um, then I guess I could start with the size of this bag, I think is perfect. Um, if, as long as you're not trying to carry a laptop, I felt like this was the perfect size of bag. It was never too heavy and I had it out hiking. We were, um, bicycling with mountain bikes and we were going to the beach. We're doing all kinds of stuff and I fit everything I needed in this all the time. I had a first aid kit in here. I had power bars in here. I had my billfold in here. I had sunglasses in here. I had my swimming suit and a towel in here most of the time. It was a travel towel, so it was a smaller towel, but, and I still had a little bit of extra space. So I felt like this was just a convenient size. It did pretty much anything I needed to do as far as like uh, space wise. And it never got too heavy. Cause sometimes if you have a bag that's too big, you'll just fill it. And then you're walking around all day and it's really heavy and hurts after a while. But I never had that problem with this bag. So moving on to some things that I don't like. One thing is this zipper. So pack safe people. If you're listening, this zipper sucks. It's terrible. Um, I was kind of excited about this pocket. This is part of the purse that turns part of the bag that turns into a purse. But, um, what happened was on the way to France, I had this bag pretty full. And so it was, it was sticking out. I mean, it was just full. So the front wasn't flat and straight. And in that case, then I couldn't get the bag really open. It like got stuck on the way back. So you see that I could, I could zip it open. I could open the bag, but then when I put my billfold back, when it was not flat, it would just stick. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can there. See, it, it just kind of would stick every once in a while. And sometimes I couldn't get it. Like now I can't get it all the way shut at all. It's like you kind of had to like pull the, the bag exactly straight line like this to get the zipper to work all the way. And sometimes even then I couldn't get it. Now I got it all the way. And then what happens is that you push, you push that into there so that it's not super easy to just pull it out. Um, if you can see that you push it under this little tab here to keep it from, it's not as easy to get out of there, but like I said, easy to open. Then I couldn't get it shut around my billfold. So I was standing at the stores and I was like trying to get my bag shut so I could leave the cashier and people were waiting on me. So that was just not very fun. Um, so that's one thing that I really didn't like. Another thing I didn't like is this, there is, this is a, a strap that you can take off and turn it into a purse strap. So it's supposed to be versatile. I get that, but this thing here, can you see that? This actually opens up like that. 
and then you can put this through here like that I think is how you're supposed to have it but I kind of felt like this was even more annoying because what happens is when you put it on it's like if you grab it like a normal backpack to put it on the whole thing comes out like this and so you get it on and then you put the other side on so like you're putting it on and you're like it's kind of weird to put on and then and then you kind of have to adjust it a lot more than you would a normal backpack because it's just not in the right spot. And if you put it through both loops like you're supposed to, then I felt like I couldn't hardly get it adjusted. So it was just off all day and just a little bit in the wrong spot no matter what I did. So I finally had to take it out of the other loop, which means that it rolls through there faster. Although when it was through both loops, it was still moving around a lot, the strap. So what I would really like to have is like, some kind of thing like sewn on there to keep it in place because let's face it we don't really want this moving around all the time we just want to like set the straps and have them at the right size and then we can easily put our bag on and off without all of the strap going to one side so that would be a really great thing to fix if anybody from pack faith is watching this so um that was also kind of a big problem and then what you can do with these, let's get it closer. These zippers, they they look like that, and this one is kind of just like the opposite. They get stuck together like this, and then what you can do is stick them in here like that. So now that's locked. And then, like I said, you could lock this by sticking it in the tab. At least it makes it quite hard for somebody to get out of there. This one is also got a tab. It's like at your back, but I didn't ever bother locking this because this is the part that's on my back. So I didn't think anybody was going to get their hands in there. And if you open it this way, there's a pocket here, there. And then there's a pocket on the inside that has a zipper. See that? And then this was a pocket. And then you have like the big big main opening there but I finally started putting my billfold in here which wasn't as convenient because this is just open here so other stuff were like falling in the pocket with my billfold but it was better than having it on the front when I couldn't shut it let's see here anything else let's see if we can turn this into a purse let's see if I remember I didn't actually turn this into a purse um but I was on a trip with my girlfriends and I think maybe if you got dressed up and went out in like a nicer dress in the evening on a trip, like if my husband and I went by ourselves, it would be nice to be able to turn it into a purse. So let's just see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, another feature on here is you have these kind of normal things, but then you have to open that to get it. Let's see that. Now it's shut and I can't open it and now it's open. So now, there we go. Now you can get it off. So these lock, which was a feature. Okay, so I got this off. So here's the purse strap. Then, let's see here. I can't remember how to do this. This. So honestly, you don't really do much. You just, there's the backpack and then you do like that. Now you have a purse, but the thing is like, if you want to get into this pocket, that this is its own pocket, which doesn't really shut once you open it. And it's probably the safest pocket in the purse because it's the one that goes under there. Um, which I mean, if you kind of flatten this, so this is, how it's supposed to look and then you would put this these on here it's really windy outside today goodness the wind i don't know if you can hear it on the video but it's banging against my house it's usually not that windy at my house so it's kind of different um okay so now you have a purse this is i mean a decent sized purse it's not super mini mini see here's Here's the purse compared to my shoulders. But like I said, I mean, if I would have turned it into a purse, I would pretty much have had to use this pocket 
here and ignored the front pocket and I could use that to put stuff in, but it's still not, it's not the same pocket as the one on the front. Um, anyway, uh, I didn't actually use the purse. I bought this more because the, the one that had the purse factor, just in case when my husband and I went somewhere by ourselves that I could have something as a purse if I wanted to go out in the evening, but also because sometimes you just get tired of having the backpack straps um, on your shoulders all the time and maybe you just want to like have a some kind of variation where you can do one side and then the other side instead so i mean it does have merits to be able to turn it into a bag it's just that the zipper doesn't work well so if PackSafe could just fix that then i would recommend this a lot more if they could just fix that zipper um that's about it i mean like this is the simplest way to make a purse that i've ever seen seriously purse backpack purse backpack you just have to change the straps so I guess my review, I don't honestly know if I suggest anybody buy this bag right now because of this zipper problem. Um, I would probably still suggest that you buy it, even though this is annoying that this doesn't have a stop on there to keep it in the right spot. It's annoying, but it was still kind of like I could, I could make it work, but it was highly annoying. But this was just like... I'm not sure if it's worth your money if the zipper doesn't work properly. That was kind of a deal breaker for me. So these are still two pretty big issues why I wouldn't recommend this bag. But what it does have going for it is it's the perfect size in that you can't get, you can't cut into the bag. So if you're going to India, um, I don't know, maybe Thailand, Cambodia, possibly Nepal. Um, although I seriously manage to go to all those countries and not have people steal stuff out of my slash my bag and take stuff out of the bag but I did have somebody like in a tug of war trying to take my purse as I rode on a moped taxi so I was on a moped taxi with some other people behind the driver and I had a little bitty tiny tiny purse like this big on around my neck in front of me and I was sitting behind someone else um, so it wasn't even showing very much, but this guy drove over on his moped beside ours, reached over and grabbed it and almost caused us all to have a wreck. So we were like having tug of war on mopeds and the mopeds were going like this and the, the moped <laughs> with the guy on it who was trying to steal my purse, his had more power. So he was like driving off and almost dragging me off the moped because it was still around my neck. And then finally the strap broke and I had the strap and he had my purse and my wallet and my passport, like all my important stuff because I didn't want to leave it at the hotel. So that was not a good thing. We had to like figure out how to get a new passport in, I want to say we were in Cambodia. Yeah, in Cambodia. So anyway, and th at that point, maybe something like this would have been better or that if you have a purse, even if it's not one of those passport purses that's made to put down your shirt or in your dress, that just, if you're worried, just stick it inside your clothes. It's not as tempting for other people to take your stuff. Um, but like I said, I've made it through India. I've made it through Thailand um, and Nepal without anybody stealing my stuff or trying to slash my bag. Although I have heard it's very common in India for people to slash your bag and take your stuff out. So um, in that case, if you're not worried about any of the special features and you don't care that the, it's gonna, you're gonna have to adjust it every time you put it on your back, um, the fact that this locks and you can't get into it with a knife, it does have some appeal depending on what country you go to. So anyway, um, that's what I think about this bag. I would definitely give this, um, if they fixed the zipper and fixed this so that it stayed in the same place, I would give this a 10 out of 10 because I do really like the bag, but don't buy one until they fix it. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> have a really great day. Um, uh, bye.